Okay, so we are getting closer to our to our installation and first login to Oracle Transportation Management. Yeah, so we've installed till now everything that it should be installed. We we should follow the the requirements that we need uh, first of all to 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 have before, uh, prior to our installation of the Oracle Transportation Management. Uh, here you are gonna see. Uh, everything that you have to do but I'm going to show you in this video first of all you need the software same thing I downloaded it previously you can read the guide guide if you if, if you if you struggle in, in to, to a point but this video should show you everything that you, you need to do if you have some some issues you just can comment on on the video so maybe I can help or if not, you may want to use uh, the forums or OTM. There are a couple of them. Over there, I, I find out how to troubleshoot my, my installation issues. And it helped me. I believe one thing that I didn't pay attention was the, the, the default passwords. And also, you have to have to be careful about it. But please as much as you can follow the, the, the details that I'm providing to you. It's important to follow up with, to follow the this guide, okay? Okay, so let's just go with the OTM installation. I'm gonna choose the C as a drive to where to be installed, where an app server. Okay, click next, click next. Web ser server external um, ID should be the Oracle server, the name of the, our machine. Also to the uh, uh, web server, app server should be the 7777 port, which we already set up previously. Okay. Database server should be uh, the 101010, 10, which we added in the host file, if you remember. Also the port, which is the uh, uh, listener port. And the name of our our database instance OTMDB. Now we're gonna uh, just copy the Oracle Home where we have installed it. Okay, everything should be should be uh, as it is. Just click next button. Uh, the WebLogic um, home path should be Oracle MV. We already created this right when we installed the WebLogic. Okay, the app server path. Should be the place where we install the web logic. So it's here somewhere. Server memory, we're gonna lower it even if I have uh, enough uh, memory. We were gonna stick with the uh, default ports, okay? Web logic home path. This is where they were gonna install. Uh, sorry, it was already installed the web server. Same thing, I'm going to lower the memory. It's already installed over here, the uh, home server. Okay, the instance, you know, if you remember, it was the default one, the instance one. And also OHS1, the one that we've installed it, um, with the Oracle HTTP server. Yeah, here you have to pay attention to. Please choose and enter the change me. It's case sensitive, so just insert it here as change me for the web logic. Also for the app, change me, case sensitive, okay. Glock DBA, for the Glock DBA, okay. Glock load password at Glock load, okay. Click next. Now, next. We don't want to use anything as an optional, not yet, not at this point. And now we have to wait until Oracle Transportation Management is installed. Okay, 
Click the next button. Okay, great. Next. Here we're gonna find some information where you can download the uh, installation guide. You may wanna download it. Okay, I'm gonna start my system later. Thanks.